Well guys, the party's over. It's done, it's finished. You're watching I Allegedly, I'm your host Dan, and uh, we have to talk today because there's a lot of news and I'm in beautiful Corona del Mar. I'm gonna walk down to the tide pools and take you guys someplace really cool today. And because it's not a weekend, there shouldn't be too many people down here. But I wanna talk about some of the news. And before I do, please take a moment to share this video, hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button, the bell notifications to get notified on everything that we're doing. And uh, I'm overlooking the Pacific Ocean. Beautiful houses behind me on the walkway but there's a lot going on the stock market is tanking before our eyes uh, the plunge protection team can do nothing to stop this right now and they're not having the luck that they've had in months gone by where they've propped everything up and kept it going it's just not happening uh, on the east coast you're starting to see no gas, lines for gas. You're seeing $10 a gallon gasoline, and uh, it's a real problem. Uh, you need to get ready for this. You need to get ready for what's happening. Regardless of where you live in the country, you need to, to make sure you've got gas in your car, make sure you guys are ready. Get food um, and buy everything you can right now. Uh, prices are going up. I was at the store yesterday and just was shocked at, you know, what things are going for right now. Uh, a pound of cheese, 16 ounces, used to be $2.99. And now, yesterday, go, go to purchase it. It's much smaller and it was $3.99. I'm like, okay, well, it's just me. I'll buy it for myself. It's fine. But that cheese, eight ounces now for $3.99. It's a dollar more expensive than it used to be. And now it is half as much. You guys are starting to see prices on everything shoot up. We're going to see hyperinflation go live. And you're going to see prices on things that you've never seen in our lifetime. Some of these houses on the hill that overlook the water. You know, there's all this talk of a fourth stimulus check. And... I'm really good with the research. I mean, I'm, I'm really good. People send me stories or, hey, Dan, have you heard about X? And I go out and I, you know, I can pretty much find anything because I read so many newspapers and got all this stuff. And I could not find a real story on the $2,000 or $3,000 stimulus payment at the end of May. And it really bugged me. And then there was a USA Today story on how this was created. And I got hate mail from people. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. You're, we're getting $3,000 by May 31st, which is not gonna happen. But what people did, which was absolutely brilliant, and this is how they did it. They started Facebook groups and they would create stories and share them on Facebook groups. And these stories then they would make blog posts with and share the blog posts as if they were news. So people would go out and share them amongst themselves, but they were not tied to any news agency, not tied to any political party, not tied to any senator, congressman, or anybody like that, but they were just speculation and wish list stories that have zero validity and zero weight to um, anything in reality. And see, this is kind of cool. You can walk down this hill. I just walk down. And you guys can get right to the sand. It's a private beach down here. Kind of cool. But uh, tide's kind of out. Let me show you guys a little bit more down here. So you can walk right out to the water. Guys out there swimming. You've got the tide pools over here. You know, it's a great place to come clear your head, think, read. You know, just hang out. You got the water flowing through here through the plants. But just a if you guys ever get a chance to come to Orange County, that's just beautiful. It really is. Story from the AP, and that is great news for casinos. 
Casinos have had their best first quarter ever in 2021 because of all the stimulus money. People are going to back to Atlantic City, Las Vegas, and they're registering the best quarter that they've had in years, okay, for both these areas. Now, you know, it, it, uh, it's crazy. Uh, I had a friend, his girlfriend went to Vegas a week ago, and uh, uh, she said it was just so dangerous that uh, people drinking in the street, just complete thug life going on and uh, just not a touristy fun place. Uh, it was just an absolute mess, okay? Uh, people, who's gambling right now? Seriously, I mean, uh, you'd have to be a complete imbecile to gamble right now, I, I, in my opinion, okay? That's just me, I think that, I think that things are gonna get really, really bleak uh, very quickly and they're happening right before our eyes. Uh, which leads me to two more stories, and that is uh, my girlfriend bought me tickets for the Angels and Dodger game this last weekend. And uh, my two favorite teams, American League, it's the Angels, National League, it's the Dodgers. And uh, we go to Anaheim Stadium, got good seats in the field. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You know, I'm going to sit in close. I got to see Clayton Kershaw pitch against Dylan Bundy. I mean, you know, I was on the third base side, some right in front of Justin Turner. I mean, it was just, it was really cool. I was so completely blown away and disappointed by the Dodger fans and by just the thuggery. I don't even know if that's a word, but the complete thuggery of the Dodger fans and how they treated everybody, how they were bullying people. They had fights in the stands. Uh, it was an absolute mess. You know, given, uh, people a hard time because they were wearing their angel gear, uh, booing, you know, all the angel players. It wasn't just normal sports camaraderie and cheering for your team. It was absolutely insane. Uh, I saw a foul ball get hit kind of behind us towards the outfield, bounces off the ground, hits a woman in the face. She had angel gear on and they were, Dodger fans were laughing about this, thought it was funny. She deserved it because she's an angel fan. And it was a complete, complete thug festival, okay? Fights in the stands, uh, just a mess. Mike Trout complained about how bad it was from the outfield to the umpire, and they could do nothing about it. But he left the game at after the fifth inning. Now, you can say, oh, they were losing eight to nothing. That's why he left. Well, they came back, and the final score was 14-11, but it was a mess. And I will never in my life go to Dodger Stadium again because... I don't know where this thug culture comes from. I don't get it. I don't get how you, you just can't go to something and, and have a good time and respect other people. That is gone right now. People think that for some reason you can go out and just treat people horribly right now. And it's nuts, absolutely nuts and cruel, which then leads me to my second part of this story, which is I'm out for my morning walk. And for those of you that are on Patreon, you know, you guys can get a hold of me, and I schedule a lot of these, like during this walk right now, I've got calls for Patreon, okay? They're gonna get, you know, between here and the car, stuff's gonna get done, business is gonna get conducted. Anyways, I was out walking near my house, and there's a helicopter flying overhead, and oh wow, that's kind of interesting, it's circling. So I changed my route a little bit, walk over there, and uh, I'll show you this, but uh, this is a car that was from a high-speed chase and four people hopped out of the car. That's what the police thought, there were four people. And uh, they had weapons, they had guns, and abandoned the BMW, okay? Crazy, but the cops had their AR-15s out and their guns out, which I've never seen on a city street in my community where the guns were like out. And I'm like, hey, should I be out here? And they're like, yeah, just don't cross the street and go over there. And as I'm walking, I'm thinking, this is kind of stupid, I shouldn't be here walking on this area, okay? So, you know, kind of nuts, but this is where it is. It's, it's getting crazier and crazier and crazier, okay? So, you know, take Jeremiah Babe's advice, protect yourself, get ready, get yourself ready, you know, with food supplies, things like that, because this is not gonna get lighter and easier and oh, don't worry, we're gonna get more free money. They're gonna cut it off. 
the pandemic unemployment is getting cut, cut off in multiple states. I had somebody reach out to me and tell me that uh, Arkansas is the next area that's being cut off. So again, guys, it's just the party's over, okay? It's done. What can you sell to make money? What can you do in your business to make money? You know, nobody wants to hear this. These videos that I talk about business stuff in general and how to get your phone to ring and things like that, they do horribly, they're awful. But that's what I'm great at, okay? And you need to look at what you can do right now to, to get your phone to ring. What can you sell? I don't care if it's stuff in your garage that you can unload. Get rid of it right now, okay? And, 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 and see what you can sell right now to, uh, to make sure you have money put aside. Get rid of those expensive car payments. Sell what you don't need right now because we're gonna go into a depression era right now, unlike anything that we've seen. And you can call me crazy, you can call me anything you want. I'm ready, okay? You know, I follow Jeremiah Babe's advice and Manorino and all these other people out there and I'm ready for this stuff, okay? You guys need to get yourself protected. You need to be nice to one another and you need to protect yourself against what's coming. It's just my opinion. Verizon announced that they just sold the AOL and Yahoo brands, their media assets, to a hedge fund group called Apollo. And they just did that for $5 billion. I had no idea that uh, Verizon even owned AOL and uh, Yahoo right now. Uh, they say that they're gonna be autonomous and they're gonna be on their own. Again, I, I, I don't even think about AOL or Verizon or Yahoo for that matter. It's gonna be interesting to see if there'll be any changes in the coming weeks on that and how that's gonna affect uh, the internet and media and things like that. Speaking of media, uh, NBC just announced that it will not show the 2022 Golden Globes uh, for some political nonsense that they're stating. And uh, what it has to do with is ratings. Uh, this pandemic has taught us how we don't need to rely on Hollywood. It's a shame. I'm an absolute movie lover and uh, I love the movie going experience, but people just don't need it. You know, they just don't need to go to the movie theaters and Hollywood is in big trouble. Who's going to pay these ridiculous salaries right now? Uh, they're not grossing, you know, having $150 million weekends. Theaters are closed, just not getting the money from the streaming services that they got in the past. And it's in real, real trouble. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out through the rest of the year as the economy opens up. Uh, I don't see all of a sudden people rushing out to theaters and things like that right now. I just don't see it happening. Share your thoughts below, guys. There's a story out of Kentucky where there are thousands of Ford trucks that are not complete. Because of the chip shortage and the fact that we don't make these chips here in the United States and there's a, a shortage from China, uh, we cannot complete some of these Ford trucks, which leads to a bigger question. And that is, here in Southern California, we have vacant lots that store hundreds of vehicles. These are cars that are high-end. I, I saw one the other day, I counted 88 Audis that were parked in one lot. I saw one with Volvos on it that, that have dozens and dozens of cars. And they do this because the dealerships can't hold them and they're not selling. So even if they had these chips, who's buying these new cars right now? Are you racing out to spend 40 grand in a car? I pulled up to an intersection the other day and saw a, a Honda Civic. Couldn't help but see the, uh, the sticker on the car. It was $35,936 for a Honda Civic. I was floored, okay? Absolutely amazing. Um, who's buying these cars? Who can afford it? Anyways, good luck to each and every one of you. Please email me. Let me know if there's things you want to see. Um, you know, please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Share this with all your friends and colleagues. 
and uh, good luck to each and every one of you. If you find any grants or anything you want me to investigate, please let me know and let's take a look at that, okay? Good luck, I'll see you guys very soon.